How would you like a story from the jungles of Palawan? You know where that is? That's just north of Borneo. You've ever heard of Borneo? Anyway, how, how would you like to go to the jungles? What do you find in the jungle? Wild monkeys. You're right. Monkeys. They have monkeys there. What else? Spitting cobras, yes, they have those, all sorts of nice creatures like that. In fact, you know what, over there they have lots of snakes. If you like snakes, anybody like snakes? Yeah, they, they measure snakes different there than they do here. If you ask how big a snake is, they'll say, well, it was about that size, or it was about that size, or it was about that size, because their arms aren't long enough to show how long it is. But this story takes place in the jungles of Palawan, there was a little girl born. And usually when children are born, people are happy, right? But this little girl who was born, and he said, oh, it's a girl, it's a girl, that's good. Because when it grows, that girl grows up, we can sell her, and we're going to make money. But he said, oh, no, there's a problem. Look at her feet. They're all crooked. They don't. She'll never be able to walk. Look at the, she's worthless. What in the world do we do with this little girl? Now, what do you think you would do with it? What would you do? Well, that's because you have the love of Jesus in your life, but they didn't have the love of Jesus, and he said, we need to get rid of this baby. How do we get rid of it? Well, they tried to give it away. No, we don't want it. It's got crooked feet. It's no good. So they'd feed it a little bit. They'd beat it when it cried, so it learned never to cry. And it got weaker and weaker and weaker because they said, we can't kill it. If we kill it, then we might go to prison. But if it just dies, that's going to be okay. Well, you know what? One day, there was a girl, a Palawano, at church. And a lady came up to her and said, I know the little baby. She's a year and a half old, but she's just about ready to die because the parents are beating her and won't feed her. And that girl, her name was Jillian, she said, I want her. Can you get her? Well, she's two hours hike into the mountains, but we'll try. And so... Two days later, they called and said, we have the baby. And so Jillian went to get the baby, and it was a year and a half old. It weighed about eight pounds. <laughs> and it couldn't even move. It just lay there, all dirty, and the only thing that moved was its eyes. And when you looked into those eyes, you saw fear. And Jillian took that baby. It was in the hospital for 30 days just to save its life. And then she said, that is going to become my baby. And she is adopting that little baby. Now, would you like to see some pictures of Lani? That's the name of the little girl. I had my... Uh, this is Lonnie when she was looking much better. Oh, wow. But let's see if this thing works. Her, her hair when you first got her was orange. Yeah, her hair was orange because she had had no nutrition at all. She spent time in the hospital. Do I have to point this at something particular? Here we go. Hey, but you can still see some of the fear in her eyes there. Well, and there she's getting up on her feet. But do you know the amazing thing is she did have crooked feet. She couldn't walk or anything. So what do you do about that? Do you know what you do? Well, we took her to the hospital, and they couldn't do anything. They, they didn't know what they were doing at all. And so... When everything goes wrong and you have no answer, what do you do? Pray. You pray. And you know what? We found out that right on that island of Palawan, there was an organization that for free straightened out children's feet. 
And so they went to work on her feet. It took several years, but little by little, they straightened out her feet a little more and a little more. <laughs> and, and the amazing thing is, I have never seen a child who smiled so much. Always it seems like she has a smile on her face. I, it's taking its time. And here, here is Lonnie with all of her cousins. And more of her cousins. And there is Lonnie when she was younger and couldn't walk very well. And there she is up in the jungles again, trying out her new feet. She wasn't very good at that time, but little by little, she learned to walk. And there is Lonnie's family. Do you see Lonnie there? Right, right there. And I just wanted to win the last ones to show. Lonnie there has just gotten through walking for three hours on those trails. Wow. Do, you th do you think that's a, a miracle? Yes. And uh, so you know the Bible says, I'd like you to, maybe when you go home this afternoon, have your parents read to you chapter 70 of Desire of Ages. Because that talks about this kind of thing. It has something very, very special. And uh, we just got a call from Jillian. She said, I just got your grandchild number 15. And she just rescued somebody else. Uh, if you look very closely, she said, its name is Milo. What do you think it is? A little monkey. A little monkey. So she saves monkeys, she saves children. So far, she's saved, helped to save three children and one monkey. So we're thankful for that. So always remember that. The love of God in your heart will always know the right thing to do.